Yesterday we had a celebration event. Uh, I'm the chair of CTRAD, which is the National uh, Radiotherapy Research Group in the UK, and we're 10 years old. So we were celebrating our top 10 achievements, and that also corresponded with a very exciting announcement. So Cancer Research UK announced a £56 million investment in radiotherapy research centres of excellence. So there are seven uh, centres across the UK that have been funded, and this will substantially accelerate radiotherapy research in the UK. The Proton Beam session today was uh, really exciting and a good audience, and we talked about three areas. Firstly, we had a North American perspective about how proton beam therapy had been used in children and young adolescents. The second talk from Kai Grau covered the mainland European experience of developing evidence in proton beam trials. And thirdly, I gave the UK perspective on how we're working with the UK community to develop randomised trials to develop the best evidence of proton beam therapy in a range of adult malignancies. So I think the challenges are around getting the design of these trials right because this is a new technology and there have been very few trials done before. Uh, we're really addressing that. So I think we are maximising our, our chances of success. Um, I think our other challenge is to make sure we present these studies to funders in the best way to maximise the funding success. I think the third thing is we need to do is to ensure that we educate the whole community in the UK about the scientific question. So in other words, in the radiotherapy field we have a, a good understanding of how PBT may be able to produce a benefit. But we need to communicate that across the whole multidisciplinary team that are managing a whole range of cancers. So the surgeons, radiologists, specialist nurses and all the team that is involved in looking after a particular patient group understands the importance of the scientific question and hopefully as a team we would have the equipoise on the balance of wanting to test whether PPT versus standard radiotherapy produces an advantage. We, we've heard that the patients want this but we, we do have an education piece to do which we're actively performing at the moment. The main messages from my talk was that we need to work collaboratively in the UK to develop the best studies and to do the work that maximises our chance of getting them funded. At the moment, globally, there are only eight randomised trials published of proton beam therapy in the world, and we have to generate this evidence. So we have developed an approach of workshops where we bring together the interested uh, academics and healthcare professionals to work collaboratively on individual topics but in the same area so we all learn from each other. So we've hosted three workshops so far. The fourth one is being held this Friday uh, at UCL and we're in the position that we now have eight studies in development and we're getting to the point that three of those are very close to being submitted for funding. That's a study in breast cancer reducing the risk of cardiac damage, uh, in good prognosis glioma about reducing the neurocognitive impairment associated uh, with radiotherapy and thirdly in esophageal cancer where preoperative treatment of proton beam may be able to significantly reduce surgical morbidity and mortality. So these are really exciting studies, they have the opportunity to be practice defining or practice changing and we are working as a community to try and generate the best clinical trial evidence and we're getting close to trying to get those uh, studies funded. The next steps are around successfully delivering those trials. So if we get them funded and we start to recruit our patients, then the most important thing is to bring the whole community together to maximise the speed at which we can recruit patients who are interested in participating so that we can get the answer quicker and we can determine the benefit of, of Proton Beam. We specifically in the development of these studies done engagement events with patient groups and we're getting very, very positive responses that patients are very keen to participate in these trials. And so we want to actually make sure that we set up a network that maximises our opportunity to deliver the trials in as timely a manner as possible.